Hey people, how's it going? <clears throat> Big idiot here. A little under the weather today. That's okay, because video you're about to see I shot when I was on top of the weather and not, uh, you know, in the middle or under it. Anywho, this is an engineered air unit. Some people call them over-engineered air units. There's a lot of stuff that's going on inside these things, okay? A lot of, a lot of wires and doodads and thingies that run all over the thing so this is like a part two but they didn't film a part one because part one was a lot of being like on the horn like this and like, okay find this relay and check x voltage to other relays and whatnot would have been stupid boring so anyway it's part two of it i'm gonna show you this thing i'll show you the inside of it show you all the compressor and these condenser fans are unlike anything i've ever seen well on any other type of unit anywho i hope you guys enjoy i also want you to see this brand new flag i got check this guy out look at that people isn't that freaking awesome love it i freaking love it anyhow subscribe if you want and uh this will be a shorter one than normal so maybe y'all can make it through the whole thing without you know checking out the back of your eyelids and see what those look like uh enjoy people till next time ah. well here we are on a rooftop imagine that why would I be on a rooftop? Luckily, I'm not messing with those horrible things. I say that. When they work, it's amazing. But like one of these things is connected to like, I don't know, five to ten rooms. This is a hotel in downtown Dallas. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one of these heads has an issue, an error, something small, something big. Man, the whole, all of the things shut down. The whole thing just is worthless. Anyway, I'm not doing stuff with that today. We're working on this guy. Okay? You're going to get to see... This is okay. This thing's massive. All right. We're not going to pop these doors because they're under pressure because that blower is working. Look at that, how big it is. This is the condenser. Like starts from here all the way to the end and both sides. I want to show you all some cool stuff before I dig into this thing. This is made by uh, Engineer Air which is Swahili for way over-engineered units. Yeah, that whole phrase is Swahili. Sure is. Believe it or not. So we walk into this little door thingy right here. <clears throat> we go into... Uh, Get up on the fish. All right, one section. Four condenser fans, four compressors. <clears throat> section two. Four condenser or four condenser fans, four compressors, two receivers. Oh, look, a couple spools of water too. I wonder what size that is. I'm about to go to a job next connecting a a heater this is number eight uh and it's been in here it was ours to begin with i'm not stealing people we're the ones that actually installed this unit so wires going with the idiot today cool because i need some number eight in my life Oh, here we go. All right. Okay, so far we're at eight compressors, eight condenser fan motors. And guess what? 
Let's double that, people. Four more compressors, four more condenser fans. And guess what? Oh my goodness, again. Two receivers, four compressors, four condenser fans. So let me tell you what was going on with this. I came out yesterday. <clears throat> Get all the things, all the stuffs. When I came out yesterday, that's a little warm. That should not be a little warm. And it's the same way today is all of the units, all of the compressors were cut out on high head pressure. Um, which is, you know, you're like, well, okay, that's not right. They're tripped today because of my testing that I did yesterday to figure out what in the world was going on. I had to kick these things on. And come to find out, our condenser fans weren't running. Well, duh, that's the first place you're gonna look, right? All your compressors go out on high head. What's wrong with the things up here, huh? Well, <clears throat> once I forced them to turn on, they would overamp and trip the overload. Okay, all those high limits are reset. Um, we need to make sure all the doors are closed because they're gonna pull from their respective sections. Did I close that one? I did. My memory is literally that long. Like, oh, did I close this one? Oh yeah, look. Okay. So, <clears throat> imagine replacing that coil. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be horrible. Like these fans, look at this fan. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. The blade is built into the motor. It's like super high efficient Zuber Goober something fans. I don't know. There are four 60 volt, three phase, and this is the kicker. They only pull 4.2 amps. That's what they're rated for. Blows my mind they're supposed to be like super de duper high efficient blah 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 all right now let's get into the meat and potatoes oh that kind of made me hungry i like meat and potatoes oh okay we got stuff going wrong here uh so these six fuses control the condenser fans we got some of them not doing stuff all right three of them are, are blown which means we could have a bad condenser fan i don't know maybe they just got hot who knows we got two of these compressor fuses that you know i gotta take the thing off which is, i don't know i get why you do this people but then again i'm like but why the screws are on the inside i gotta take this off pull the I just it seems to me like it's a little extra you know just a little bit extra that's okay we're gonna get in there before the rain comes you know got the clouds over the top of that building uh we're supposed to have spotty showers today um whatever where's my thing in my pocket somewhere i got my thing i'm on I got two fuses that go to two compressors that's down. Now, I did test these compressors to ground, and neither one of them are grounded. So, uh, I also tested every single condenser fan to ground. Those condenser fans are about, about $4,000 each. So, yeah, we want them to work. So, this fine establishment doesn't have to pay for a condenser fan but think about it all right they're three phase and they single phased so when it single phases uh, when you single phase three phase motor you cause problems all right we 
hope that the overload tripped before problems were caused. But we shall see. Just to make sure. Okay. So when you get fuses, people, get get a spare. Uh, I took everything that the supply house had, so I only got one spare. Let's hope I don't have to use that, because then I will have 0.0, .0 spares. On the condenser fan fuses, I took all they had, and I'm going to end up with three spares. That's how I like to see it, you know? Come on. Oh, I got more screws to take out. Ugh. Now, you can do this while it's hot. I don't like to, because this is some high voltage, and it's not just the voltage, it's the amps. Now, we're not under a load. I have the cooling disabled. Uh, I guess I better verify which ones they are. I might kill the disconnect for this. Um, might. We'll see. Theoretically, you don't have to and use a use a thing and pop the deal. I don't know. I might pull the disconnect just to just because I'm scared. Better safe than sorry. But I need to verify which ones they are. I know it's. One of something here. I don't know. One of these. Let's see here. I'm going to test the ground. Get on the ground. Ugh! Wires are so thick. There we go. So it's number two. And number three, I think four is good. Yep, two and three. Yeah, let's kill this disconnect. Uh, before I do that, these engineer air units, man, they are something else. I'll tell you, with startup, it takes a hot minute to do stuff. So we're gonna kill our low voltage first. We're gonna kill the blowers. Blower, I got the blower to run it. All right, in order to kill cooling, ah, stop the thing. Why do you have to close on me? Why don't they make the thing that holds the deal? All right, so these wires right here, this one goes to A on both of the C-tracks. That provides the voltage to tell the thing to do the stuff that makes the cold and all that. Pull them off, insulated, 24 volts, not a big deal. These service switches, oh, almost, yeah. We're gonna kill everything. Service switch has killed all the low voltage. And then we're gonna come over here to the tiny disconnect. We're gonna shut her down. Cause I don't wanna, you know, turn into some electricity superhero. Now, before I shut her down, let's look at these. And I can't remember which ones of these were bad. Ground, I think this one. Oh, that one's good. That one's good. I'm looking at the wrong side. Don't be an idiot. Oop, get over here. Door's trying to shut on me again. That center one is bad. Center one. That first one is bad. The second one is bad. Oh my gosh, all three of them? Yeah. Okay, well, I still have two spares. <laughs> so there's a chance that we have a bad motor in here somewhere that's causing these. Actually, it'd be two bad motors because <clears throat> this side services eight condenser fan motors. This side services the other eight condenser fan motors. <sighs> okay, I didn't even mark them. Which one did I say? I don't even remember. Why, why is this happening? I think the center one. Yes. And both outsides are good. Okay. Center and all, basically all the green ones. So let's kill the voltage and knock these things out. Maybe I should get some channies first. A little bit of hydration. Uh huh. Where are you at, Channies? 
<coughs> Where are you at? Where are you at? Come on. Oh my goodness, there it is. Yep. Oh. Hmm. Skirt me. All right, here we go. Let's hope this doesn't set off a fire alarm. I don't know. We'll see what happens. If it does, I'm going to cut that part out of the video. Okay, this was two and three. Don't put your bad fuses back in the unit, people. You only put your good spurs back in the unit. Now, that one did not sit very tight on the top. Ugh. I'm gonna bend this over and make sure that it is tighter. This top. I know the fuse looks different, but it's still a good fuse, so back off. Come on. Get in the thing. That top one's not making very good contact, and I don't like that. Um, it's making contact. It's just not... It just slips right out. That's a that's a problem I gotta find something to bend this more with get a big wrench get my crowbar or get something it's got to do better it needs to be pinching that that could have been the cause of a of the screw up here Man, that thing just barely, I don't like it. How do I make it do more? How do I make it do better? Do more better. Cause this thing turns on, it's only gonna take little vibrations to pop that off. That fuse ain't gonna last very long. I just don't know how to, I can't bend, stop bending. It's just flopping right back where it was. <laughs> That bent a little bit. I don't like it. We're going to roll with it because I can't bend it back. Okay, let me get my screws back in. And then we'll do the condenser fan ones and then we're gonna have a little break people because this thing takes um, hot minutes to start up it's got the clicks and the and the things do the, the valves and oil return stuff and all oh, there's a lot of things that it does before it starts up. it's like let me check out on this thing okay we're good now let me check on this thing it's got a lot of things so I may, I may do the roof walk at that point. Who knows? Who knows? I know some of the overloads the condenser fans are already tripped, so we're gonna have to reset some overloads. And I found out yesterday that they don't, they, they don't reset unless you got a call for it. I left that one open, didn't I? Where'd I put the other deal? There they are. I have checked all of these to ground. Nothing is grounded. Now that doesn't mean that we don't have a bad motor. I can just tell you that none of them are grounded. It would be likely that the bad motor is on this side since that was most of the fails. When you put your fuses in people, make sure the fuse number is facing outward so you can help the next guy. Or gal, okay? Or gal. 
We didn't have a fire alarm. That's a good thing. All right. Put this good fuse in this bag. That way people will know. I don't know if that one's good or not. Let's check it. If it is, I'll have another spare. That one's bad. Take that out. Come on, people. Do better. Oh, there's another service switch. I didn't even know that one was there. Neato torpedo. All right, let's do the stuff. Main power on. Gonna do everything. Okay. And service switches. Go, go, go. Okay, the other thing that I found, and you'll see if you can see, my jumper's right here. That two minute time delay never did anything in two minutes or five minutes or 10 minutes. So it's bad. We're gonna get one of those order to put in. It's not an, a horrific essential part if, you know, we got the jumper on it. Oh crap, I forgot to put the dang things on the deal. Uh, why didn't y'all tell me? They let me over here doing stuff, being dumb. Now I'm gonna have to do it while it's hot. And clickies are gonna happen. I'm not gonna do it while it's hot. Let's turn these service switches back off. All right. One. And somebody put a jumper on this one and I don't know why and I'm gonna just pretend like I didn't see it, you know? What jumper? I don't see a jumper anywhere. Okay, now. Let's do stuff. It's gonna go through its clickety doo -dahs and so on and so forth and uh, loading loading look at all those relays guess which one I had to test yesterday oh yeah you're right the very freaking top one luckily oh buddy it works for another company came out I worked on this one over here it left a ladder up here thank goodness I'll tell you what I had no way I was gonna be able to climb up this thing not while it's hot if it was dead, I could put my feet on the door, this things and stuff, but I got steel toe boots. I'm not trying to put my foot, you know, the steel toe right on the, right on the zappers. Not going to happen. All right, everything's enabled. Let's go take a look. Look at this freaking electrical. Like this is guys and gals she's thick man see what order they lock this two open pull out 600 amps <laughs> that's just a couple they're worried about electrical efficiency this over here has the vfds And they're going. Oh, they are going. That runs your blower motor. Here's our burner. This is for heating, which they'll be needing here in a couple days. It's gonna get cold. Got the thing. Look at this inducer motor. I know some of you guys will do residentials and whatnot. Your inducer motor is like a little Fasco motor thing. This is like, I don't know. This thing's got a couple horses in it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's big stuff, it's big fun stuff. I would have walked you in the blower compartment, but well, I've already turned it on, so you're out of luck. This is done nice and clean. I like this. 
duct work. You know, it's about the size of a house. Look at that regulator. It's because she ain't got no gas. Oh, there's a trash can. Huh. Wonder how long that's been up here. Probably since construction. Anywho. We're doing our click. Oh, I gotta make sure. I'm gonna see if any of these things are tripped. See if we're getting some. We still have some minutes, but I am gonna reset. Yep. Some of them are definitely tripped. There's 16 condenser fan motors, people. Like if. I don't know. You know, if one of them is bad and it blows all the fuses, I'm going to have to go get so many freaking fuses it's not even funny and then do one condenser motor at a time and see which one actually blows them. And I cleaned the supply house out. Isn't that wonderful? That's just great. I got some destruction going on over there. I mean, construction. Come, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Construction. I don't want to walk out on that ledge, but I see a free rope over there. Probably been there forever. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not very comfortable. I mean, I'm not scared of heights at all, but I kind of don't want to, you know, fall off the thing. I heard something. There's a condenser fan running. Let's see what we got going on in here. All right, compressor one is turned on. Yep, of 16. And I think we have a fan running. We have, can't tell which one. Okay, number one is pulled in. Number two is pulled in. We've got two fans that should be running. Let's go in and take a look. I ain't scared, you scared? I think they're over here. Oh yeah. All four of those fans are running. That's good. I need to verify all the fans are running so when they single phased, it didn't burn anything up. But we got one of them going. Hit. we got a couple minutes before second stage tries to kick on As a matter of fact all the stages might not even try to kick on because it's not hot right now it's gonna get muggy today very humid maybe 80 85 degrees and all the Daikin VRVs some of you guys might be experts I try to stay away from these things I think they're uh, ridiculously toxic to my health and safety yep Oh, what else we got over? That sun is coming out. That's great. It's been raining. Get the sun and the rain. Get the humidity and sticky everything. There's another rope. I guess if I ever lose my rope, I'll just come up here and grab one. That's a weird one. I haven't seen that one before. Let's hope it doesn't ever break. And if it does, I might have to call in sick that day. More. Dykins. All of them. All the daikins in the world are on this roof. We're back to the guy that we worked on right here. And uh, basically this thing is a conditioned makeup air unit. So it takes the outside air, conditions that air, either heat or cool, and then blows it into the building to replace all the ventilation. So whenever you vent something out, you gotta put something back in, you know? I wonder if these things move. Oh, oh, they do. It's not very easily. That one's just laying on the thing there. Probably not good for the roof. Oh, what do we got over here? That's the door I came out of. There's Franklin. I don't know what Franklin does. There's a big old box with some heavy wire on it. <clears throat> you got these lightning rods all over this place. There's another rope. <laughs> got all the ropes up here. We're about to be on the other side of where I was, full circle here. 
There's another rope. Dude, I wouldn't even feel bad taking a rope. I'd be like, y'all got extras. Look at that big old fat metal flex line. Yep. She's fat. I wonder what's in this bucket. What is that? Super flow rock. I have no idea what that means. Exterior anchoring cement non-shrink grout. Cool. That's good to know. Hey, there's that rope that I was talking about. I might not have to climb over the thing. I might be able to just reach over the thing. Oh, all the ropes, people. Look at that. They got even bags for them. Ugh. How could you turn down a rope in a bag? That's a lot of rope. I'd never need that much rope. It's theirs. I'm not going to steal it today in front of you on camera. Yeah. Might be today. I don't know. Let's get back over to the thing. Enough of that. Boilers over there. I don't like them. Boilers confuse me. I love these boilers for these big buildings. Because, I mean, this boiler is like this big. And you're like, okay, so what is this going to do? It's going to bring hot water to the entire building. I can't. Excuse me? It's going to do what? A little bitty thing? It's going to make sure every single person in this hotel has a hot shower in the morning? Are you kidding me? Like, I don't know how they do so efficiently things. I don't know. It works. So whatever. They do need to change the filters. Because they are definitely restricted. I hear stuff happening in stage one. Stage one is definitely going. See if we clicked on anything else. Nothing else is moving. It does take a long time for these things to go. Oh, there's another stage. Another compressor just came on. I don't see another condenser fan running. So it might be another compressor in the same section of the condenser because I'm only at three compressors now. And we need, oh no, four, five. Five compressors are pulled in. Uh, one of those that just clicked on was one of the ones that had a blown fuse. So, hey, that thing's working. Let's see what we got going on in here now. Ah! Not this compartment. Rip. This backside. Oh yeah, door's hard to pull open. Yeah, that one's that one's pulled in some air. All right, so we know that the back two we already verified eight condenser fans are working fine. I reset all the pressure switches. I did the thing. I don't even, yeah, I will need to go back in there one more time. That's all right. Two more sections. Hip. I don't know. Maybe I'll just come back to y'all because I don't know what else to tell you. This guy's, I've worked on this guy a lot and I don't like it. This has been the bane of my existence like this is a lemon i can say that everything has happened bad everything all the things that you can think of all of them that's what's gone wrong with this thing but right now i can tell you it's gonna get loud here sorry we are running on three four four of six compressors Two of them are bad, and they're like five G's each. All the electronics have been hacked, and it's only a couple years old. This thing's missing the thing, because it doesn't work. It's hot in here. Should have a cooling fan in here. That'd be nice. The inside of this door is hot. Let her air out a little bit, because I don't need it going bad while I'm on the roof. Let's check these fuses while we're here see if any of these are bad 
I did talk to somebody with the other company that was out here that I was like, dude, if you leave fuses, why don't you leave the good ones? Well, there were fuses in there when I got there. I said, that's because I left them. I was like, oh, well, thanks. <laughs> but dude, leave, don't leave bad fuses. I just don't know how difficult that is. Just throw it in the trash. I'm fixing to have to take down a whole bag full of them. Oh, that one's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's not. Oh, bye-bye. That one's good. 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 Oh, that one's questionable. No, nope, that's good. So we had one bad one. And this FLS R40 is the same one that I need up there for the condenser fan things. I don't know what this this one's for. That one is a NLS 10. That goes to protect. Oh, more stuff happened. What happened? What are we doing here? I don't know. It's doing stuff. There, another compressor. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five. So we have five now. One of them came on and turned off. Let's get these fuses back in here. Has good fuses. Okay. Where are we at? Are we into another section yet? Nope, not yet. Two back ones are verified. We need the two front ones to go on. I'm gonna take a little uh, break here and I'll get back to you. Got a heat kit to replace. No, not replace. Oh, what are we doing? Yep, we got airflow in here. Let me make sure all these fans are working. Gotta do it quick. Hup. We're all working. Got some pressure on it. Now we just need this one. Hit. Yes, sir. So we replaced an RTU not too long ago. I think I got the video. Oh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll attach the thing that I'm going to do next onto the, the video. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, it was ordered without a heat kit. The other thing is, it was ordered with a curb adapter, but the curb adapter didn't fit. And after further investigation, it didn't even need a curb adapter. The thing fit right on the deal. But they, everything lined up the way it was. Oh, so we got to get our money back on the curb adapter. But they're fighting us. They're like, no, our specs say you'll need a curb adapter. Well, no, we didn't because it fits. I got proof because, you know, the peepers say, look, there's another one. We're not doing stuff yet. But I need to be ready to close this door. I want to see these kick on. How many compressors are we going now? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six going. It's cool. Look at that. That's wire. I am that smart. Wonder what size wire this is. Man, that is some thick stuff. I have like a wiring amp to size chart, but it doesn't go to number one. It only goes to number two. Because if I'm ever dealing with number one, we got some problems, people. Uh, something is, is, is way wrong in the world. I see it's good for 600 volts, 40 degrees Celsius, whatever that means. We live in America, it's not Celsius. Ah, ah, it doesn't, it doesn't say where I'm trying to read it. Ah, it's gotta be number one. Or is there, y'all tell me in the comment things. I can goober it, okay, and I probably will. But is there bigger than number one? I don't know, that's a good question. I'm not gonna goober it right this second. Maybe later. 
Huh. All right, I'll get back to you when this next one comes on. I'd like to show it to y'all, but I don't think it's gonna be any time really soon, and I'm getting kind of bored of trying to ramble about stupid crap. So I'll be back. All right, I'm done, I'm tired of waiting. So one thing I do wanna do is verify some amperages. 4.1, that's good. 4.2, 4.5, I can live with that. 4.1, I don't think we're gonna have any problem with these amp draws. Should check them on every leg, but you know what? I'm not doing that, so uh, those are all good. I'm not worried about my compressor amps. My main incoming power is pulling 200 amps per leg. And these last four are probably not going to come on because it's, you know, not hot. So why would they need to? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually start each one. Push the thing in, you know. And I'm going to put the peepers on it and we're going to see that the thing works or not. That's what we're going to do. There's four condenser fans. I just have to verify that they're all working, you know? That one's pulled in. Gonna find which ones they are. These last three contactors are not pulled in. We're gonna do those. Oh, God, to put the ground wires right in the way, didn't you? Okay, I can't put the peepers on it because I can't hold the thing and look in the deal at the same time. Lovely. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an amp draw on it after I pull them in. You'll see a spike right off the bat and then it should come down. So that's right here. Sorry, right here. That one's good. Now let's check where did that one go. This last one. Come on. Four point three, that one's good. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna check this center one. Pull amps off the top, maybe? Question mark? We're good. All right, I'm gonna button it up. And uh, we'll go on to the next best thing. Go put a heater kit in. Brand new RTU, ordered without a heat kit. They're gonna need that for Monday. It's gonna be cold. I had to go with the smallest heat kit because of the amps. So I think it'll be sufficient as long as they stay on top of it. If it's not sufficient, we'll get a call and they're gonna have to run an entire new circuit from the breaker box up to the unit. That's gonna have a higher gauge wire so we don't burn down the house. We don't want to burn the house down, all right? Get in, stop. Why are you arguing with me? You're gonna get in there. All right, let me gather my toys and get out of here. Um, until next time, deuces people. If you got any questions on this, ask me. I'll tell you. Yeah, maybe not. The answer is going to might be, I don't know, but it's going to be an answer. So, uh, any hoose, uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. This is.